Hey y'all, welcome back. It is your girl Ashley Nicole and this week I'm just bringing you a compilation of things that we've done this year. It is October and if you have children, friends with kids, nieces, nephews, whatever it may be, you know that October is always just kind of jam-packed with activities of things that you can do with families and friends. So the first part of this video is just kind of showing my son on his first field trip in his kindergarten class. We took them to Odyssey Fun World. I believe it's in Country Club Hills. I don't know why it's escaping me right now, but it's somewhere out there in the South side, Chicagoland, suburbs, whatever you want to call it. Um, he had a lot to do there for the kitties. They had a hayride. They had like these little cow driven bucket thingies. I don't know what you want to call them. Little cow ride. They liked it. Um, they were able to play on the like bouncy thing that you saw earlier and they had haystacks for the boys. Well, for everybody to climb up, but you know, my son's a boy's boy. So he's on top of everything. And I must say he did have a really good time. He got to play around with his classmates making all these lovely memories so i'm very excited for that for him um i did want to take all of my kids to a pumpkin patch this kind of just worked out perfectly that the school set up a field trip so shout out to my son's school for doing that so this part of the video is showing y'all all of the items i got together i decided at the last minute that i just wanted to have a couple of my friends over with their kids and they would do a couple of activities that I saw on TikTok. I am a DIYer and I do like to kind of do some things by myself and kind of create. So that's just me doing that here. This was one of the games that I created for the kids to play. Um, i be honest, I really didn't think everything through because this game, although it did work, it wasn't set up the best, but the kids truly enjoyed, you know, I ended up, I wanted to have like a Nerf gun or something for them to pop open the, the tissue paper i didn't have that so we used one of my kids daggers from the ninja costumes and you'll see it later on they like we blindfolded them and just let them stab a hole and take the prize out um upstairs is where we actually threw the party and i just again took stuff from dollar tree and walmart and just kind of threw some spider webs up taped some balloons to the ceiling just to give the kids that not whimsical but that fun halloween spirit whatever you want to call it just give them some fun for party time again dollar tree everywhere all of this stuff i got at the last minute so if you're throwing a party for your kids go early we got them some cookies that they were able to decorate they had a good time there of course sugar of course kids are gonna have a good time with that um it really wasn't too much structure to the evening again a lot of things i tried to do i tried to do from stuff i saw on tiktok but i did not think them that well through so you see this is like one of the first games we did didn't work out that well it was crazy but you see they half of them not even paying attention they just had a good time playing around with one another and of course waiting on the candy at the end of each game that's all that matter is that they had a good time y'all probably seen this on like instagram but it was like the call out the colors and the kids have to hop without you know moving too soon or moving too slow and you see they really like this one i think they made me do this game about four or five times just to get different winners but you know who won the girls the girls be listening the boys was out of there y'all girls was winning and this is what i was talking about earlier y'all it just it turned out good you see they had fun and stabbing it but it's just not how i intended for it to go but again as long as the kids enjoyed it it really was cool and here we go the kids got us out at another halloween based activity but this one we always go to we go to this one every year thanks to my sister this is the trunk or treat at salem baptist church and they always do it right after service they get all of their the congregation comes together i'm sure they just donate bags of candy over the course of october but then they all come together and create the cutest little stands you can kind of see background of theirs i think some of the people are like also able to kind of showcase 
you know, maybe a side business they may have. I think somebody was there with their food catering. You could buy the catering food if you wanted to. Um, just It's just nice that it's a safe space for the kids to go and get treats. And, you know, luckily they did this inside because it's cold. In Chicago, you never know what type of weather you're going to get in October. So I really like this year's setup because we were inside. We were actually hot. So kids were able to load up. When I say they loaded up, those bags had to have been at least three pounds each. And it's all coming into one house. You know, it's going to be crazy with this candy. was a lot to me as a mother running around with three of them but I'm just so glad that they had a good time they probably won't even remember and be like what we doing next because that's what kids do but hey I'm gonna pop this video in their face here's what y'all did and just be happy about it and look at the smiles I'm glad that they got to enjoy it the way they did my cool kids thanks for watching guys